Now, Boston Mayor Tom Menino is calling the devastation, quote, an unspeakable tragedy. Tonight, he told us how Boston police are searching for clues as to how the acts of terrorism could have started here in Boston. We don't know of any uh, sites they're working out of in that city. But they had to be someplace close by. I mean, they had to be. They couldn't come in and just take the plane this morning. They had to set this whole mechanism up beforehand. So the real question is, um, how do we track it? Where do we go for the information? And uh, our experts have to tell us how they do those things. Now, hundreds of federal investigators have descended on Logan Airport trying to determine just how those terrorists hijacked the two jets. Our I-Team has been looking into security at Logan. I-Team reporter Joe Bergantino is here with the latest information. Joe? Well, Sarah, what exactly happened at Logan Airport this morning is now the subject of a massive investigation. The head of Logan Security says the airport is, quote, as secure, if not more secure, than any other airport in this country. But a review of FAA action paints a very different picture. Two years ago this month, the FAA revealed that security breaches at Logan were a common occurrence. The FAA found at least 136 security violations at the airport. Undercover FAA special agents posing as passengers found that security hired by the airlines routinely failed to detect test items such as pipe bombs and guns hidden in bags. Those same special agents gained access to airplanes parked at gates overnight. Agents frequently gained access to other restricted areas without ever being questioned. The government fined Massport and some major airlines $178,000. And one expert told me today that no airport in this country is secure. The problem, he said, the airlines are responsible for security checkpoints in the terminals. They contract security out to the lowest bidder, who in turn hires lower low-wage workers with no experience. Something else to consider, tonight one Bay State congressman is saying the hijackings at Logan were an inside job. Were security personnel involved? What about the caterers and cleaners and baggage handlers, some with criminal records, some being foreign nationals, who have easy access to the planes at Logan? Advocates have been saying for years that airport security is a very serious problem. After today's attack, one thing is certain, there will be changes. Sarah and Joe? All right. Thank you, Joe.